everyone. Welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I am going to do your weekend love scope for um, Friday the 27th, Saturday the 28th, Sunday the 29th, October 2017. I am using Tarot of Sexual Magic. They are sexually explicit, okay? Those of you that are new, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Guys, just keep in mind, you know, if the reading resonates, awesome. If it doesn't, I am going to post one for Facebook. So, and the link, you know, to that will be right in the description box below. You know, so if this one doesn't resonate, check out Facebook. So maybe that one will. No gender either, guys. Um, you know, private readings, that matters for me, but not in the generals. Okay, we have the Eight of Pentacles. Oh. Queen of Pentacles. You know what? I, I see her as a slut. Or if you're a male, you know, a male whore. No offense, but I just don't like this deck. I just don't like her in that. I just don't like her in this deck. Five of Pentacles. The Knight of Swords. The High Priestess, very interesting. All right, let me just move these over so you guys can see them. And the Five of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. That'll be the overall energy. So, wow. Um, the Five of Cups is all about, for some of you, it could have to do with, you know, some of you could have been betrayed recently, but someone might be trying to make, you know, like trying to make it up to you in some way. And I also feel like some of you could have found out the truth about someone, confronted them, or you're going to. But they're going to admit the truth to you, though. They feel guilty now. And they're trying to win you back. <clears throat> I am so sorry, guys. I've been doing readings all day. The Queen of Pentacles. I just noticed something very interesting, but hold on. Okay. Wow. Okay, so some of you could, could be dealing with an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You know, this person, Tim, for me, is all about herself. I mean, look at her. You know, she's lovey-dovey all over herself, loving on herself. You know, she's definitely a, a little bit vain. But this man... Now keep in mind, no gender, guys. Okay, I mean you'll know if this if this is for you. You know, where this man would literally kiss your feet. 
Okay. Um, you know, but this woman is all about herself or man, you know, I, I just, I, I see her as a slut, you know, male whore, if you're a man, but I mean, she really is all about her. I'm saying she because it's, it's a woman, okay? But just keep in mind, no gender. Someone that, that would need, that needs a lot of attention. For real. You know? So the Eight of Pentacles. Because, now let me show you these three cards because this is amazing. Okay, this this is just unbelievable. Okay, beg. Look at all three of them together. Let's do that. What does that look like to you? Begging, 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 begging. Literally, begging intensely. Now, don't misunderstand. I don't think that there's any harm or danger or like, you know, your life is in danger or anything. But I, 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 I definitely, this person, not this weekend anyway, is not giving up. That's a fact. I don't know who you are, but this is, this is pretty, this is wow. This is intense. I mean... I mean, right down to kissing your feet. I mean, for the love of God, literally. Kissing your feet. So, I feel like just someone is trying to get your attention. Big time. Okay? Big time. And you are just not sure. You don't know if this is what you want. This could be for some of you an ex coming back. With the Queen of Pentacles and you don't you just don't know if you trust them. But for you know for some of you, you know, with the five of pentacles You could, some of you may consider giving it a shot or, or you are hoping and wishing that things could go back to the way that they used to be. But, you know, whatever happened, something happened and now you you just don't you don't you really just don't trust it you know but but they are trying to win you back and with the knight of swords this is the same person this is not a different different energy this is the same person that this earth sign probably has air in their chart guaranteed and, and they are not taking no for an answer now, if you decide, okay, if you decide that you don't want to be with them, or if you are trying to make it difficult for them, they're going, they are going to try to control the situation to be with you because I strongly get the feeling that you are ignoring them. You know, the High Priestess, Secret Keeper. Definitely Secret Keeper in this deck for me. She is not revealing anything. So maybe you find out something, you know, about someone. You know, but you're not going to reveal it. They know that you know 
And it, it could be coming through like that. You know, the forcefulness from this Knight of Swords, it is coming in the form of communication. You know, I just, like I said before, I, I don't feel like it's anything that you have to worry about or be fearful of, but I do feel like you are going to get a lot of communication like from from them like text messages emails whatever it takes but intuitively with the high priestess you know that this per that this person you know is kind of high maintenance you know a little bit vain maybe even fake you know, whatever it is you know that there is something about this person Maybe you, you know, maybe they, maybe they, you know, came across as a lover, you know, but you're on, you're on to it. Y you definitely know they're, they're, they're playing games. If it's someone from your past, you know, someone you recently met, got involved with, I feel like. You're very in tune with the truth. And I just feel like to that you're not someone that that gets taken advantage of. I just don't feel like you're going to deal with this type of behavior. You're not going to deal with this with this bullshit with this person. Whoever this person is that's 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 trying to get your attention. I honestly feel like it's it's trickery. And you were probably hoping, you know, you were probably hoping that their intentions were good. But I'm sorry, really. Whoever this reading is for, I mean, I don't see that. Let me show you why. I'm going to show you why. Now, you know, other readers may see it differently. But under this flame, that's a mask. Could you see it? It is. Believe me. I've used magnifying glasses on these cards. That's a mask. And, you know, that, that's, you know, being fake to me, you know, that's, you know, even, even though the mask is off, whoever this person is, was pretending to be something they're not, or they're leading a double life. You know about it. And now they're trying to get you to see, you know, who they really are. And you're just not happy or content with the fact that, you know, they pretended to be something that they weren't. Or, you know, you could have put them in a place, you know, of, of like putting them on this high pedestal or thinking that they were actually greater, you know, than they really were. You know, but then you could have found out the truth that this person, you know, is, is not as, you know, spectacular, wonderful, fantastic as you thought that they were. You know, it's not that they're bad. I don't feel that at all. It's not that they're bad. It's just... It's just now you're looking for it's like whoever you thought they were, you know, the blinders came off, the mask comes off. You see that maybe this person is extremely full of themselves or extremely, you know, vain about themselves. You know, because I mean, really, when you look at this card, I mean, really, I mean, she's complete. It's completely obvious that she loves herself. 
You know, and it's definitely the same person. They're trying to get your attention. And they're just so full of themselves. All they can see is themselves. I, this reading is well, but I could definitely tell you, you could you could expect a lot of communication from this person to get your attention. But you're not engaging at this weekend anyway. You're just not. You're focusing on what's right in front of you. You're listening to your intuition. You know, you're reflecting on, you know, what you want. What's going to make your hap what what's gonna make you happy? You know, and if, if you're in a relationship, you know, partnered, you know, and this is their behavior. You know, some sort of truth comes out, you know, you're 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 gonna turn the other cheek, I feel. You know, with the Five of Pentacles, really, you know, some of you, um, I feel like here, maybe, you know, your desire, you know, is to be with someone that has good intentions for you. Someone that is going to, you know, truly, you know, be loving and warm. I feel like that's what you're hoping to find, you know, instead of this. Slut or male whore. I, I'm sorry. I see her as a slut. I just do. But, you know. I mean, literally. Right down to kissing your, your feet. Oh, my God. And all, I mean, it's just amazing. All three cards, too. That just is amazing. Let's get a Romance Angel card. Ah, uh, Romance Angels. Yeah, look at Facebooks. This is, wow. Well, hopefully that one will be better. to come <clears throat> calling in your soulmate your prayers affirmations and visualizations help bring you together very interesting I'm going to be honest I could usually in pick up on what's going to come out and this definitely was not it you know, for some of you I mean, calling in your soulmate, you know, I mean, you know, maybe this weekend you will, like I said before, but uh, it's not going to last. This person is still the same. Maybe, I mean, maybe for a very small number of you, and I mean a small number of you. You know, it's possible that maybe this person is changed, is different, but by the looks of these cards, I don't think so. But, you know, what's at the bottom? Just for shits and giggles. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your, your usual type and expectations. Wow. Okay. There you have it. Interesting. For a small number of you, maybe it really will work out. But for the majority, I'm making sure these cards are shuffled good for Facebook. I'm just not feeling it. But leave your comments. Let me know how it uh, turns out for you, what you guys thought of the reading. Um, thank you guys so much for taking the time to view the video. Guys, have a fabulous weekend. I will see you guys back here over the weekend with the weeklies. Till then, take care, guys. Bye-bye.